Happy Halloween, everybody. Today's episode, we're gonna do a couple of pumpkin dishes. I took the liberty in buying these little small pumpkins for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and cut off the top of them with this huge knife, hopefully missing my fingers. So carefully, we wanna make incisions at an angle on the top of the pumpkin. Of course, we're watching our fingers, right everybody? Correct. After, after we loosen that up, pull out all the guts. It's Halloween, we can use guts and mucus and all those funny words that are, that are Halloween related. Once we've cut off the top of this pumpkin, we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna hollow it out, take out all the seeds because we're gonna then fill it with a fantastic pumpkin creme brulee. After we've taken out all the seeds, you can see it's nice and hollow. It would be a perfect vehicle for our creme brulee. And then, at the same time, I have another pumpkin about the same size, and we're gonna do the same thing. Now we're gonna take these, and we're gonna put them on a metal plate, and we're gonna pop them in the oven. That way we soften up the inside of the pumpkin flesh so that when we make our dessert, we make our soups, we can actually eat the inside of the pumpkin. Nothing goes to waste except for the skin. So first we're gonna start with our soup. While we have our pumpkins hollowed out and roasting in the oven, I've taken a liberty and already preparing the mesemplas or the ingredients to make pumpkin soup. I have a whole roast, whole pe peeled garlic, I have cut up shallots, of course butter, mo butter, mo butter. And then I have diced pumpkin with also a roasted pumpkin puree. This is a see, not so secret spice mix, thyme, salt, uh, coriander, a little bit of cumin, touch of cinnamon. That's what we're gonna flavor our soup with today. And don't forget about our friends salt and pepper. For the creme brulee, we're gonna make a custard. We're gonna make a pumpkin custard. So this custard is gonna start with heavy cream, sugar, vanilla, and maple syrup. Your everyday pumpkin pie spice, except I jazzed it up. This one has cinnamon, ginger, allspice, clove. I added a little mace to it, which is the outside of the nutmeg. Similar flavor, but uh, not as pungent as the nutmeg. And then I have the other half of our pumpkin puree. That's gonna give us a nice pumpkin flavor. It tastes like pumpkin pie, but in a custard. And then we're gonna thicken all this custard with egg yolks. All right, let's make soup. First, we're gonna start with, again, we have all our, our mess and plus or ingredients all together. First, we're gonna start with some whole butter and get that into a hot pan. With, while the butter's melting, we're gonna throw in our garlic and shallots. We're gonna saute that. We're gonna saute the garlic and shallots until, the sh until they soften up a little bit. Probably about three, four minutes. And then while that's going on, we're gonna throw our pumpkin diced into the pan as well. That pumpkin's gonna be the base of our pumpkin soup, obviously. And when we puree it with the roasted puree that I made, that's gonna give us that, the thickness that we're looking to achieve. And then we're gonna season it with my special seasoning. That's gonna be our background flavor. And then don't forget our friends, salt and pepper. Now, while that's, while that's all coming together, in a correct Halloween manner, we're gonna deglaze. We're gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of gingerbread rum and sherry wine. And for that Halloween, that beautiful Halloween effect, woo, light it up. This is for two reasons why we light it up. One is we want to burn off all the alcohol so that you don't have that bitter alcohol flavor in your soup. And two is, ain't it cool to look at? This is one of my favorite things in the world, the ooh-ah factor. Once that flame burns out,
Once that flame burns out, I said. Ah, see? I'm gonna add chicken stock. A good chicken stock is the base of a great soup. Now we're gonna let that we're gonna let that cook. We have to cook the pumpkin in into the chicken stock and all let all those flavors come together. So while that's going on, I'm, I'm gonna start the custard for my creme brulee. We're gonna start with about two cups of heavy cream. With that heavy cream, sugar, my pumpkin pie spice, vanilla and maple syrup, and then finally some more of that roasted pumpkin. I have egg yolks here. That's gonna be in one minute. First, we need to bring all of those flavors with the cream together. Yes, we use a whip, wire whip. That'll incorporate all the ingredients in an even manner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil. Bringing this to a boil will dissolve the sugar, dissolve the pumpkin pie spice, and bring all that nice roasty toasty together. While we're waiting for that, let's check out on our pumpkins. See how they're nice and steamy? The inside of these pumpkins are soft, but you want to hold the integrity of the pumpkin because that's going to be you, that's going to be the vehicle in which the soup and the custard will sit. It's all about the effects, baby. It's all about the effects. Now that our custard has come up to temperature and all the flavors have dissolved into it, we're gonna pull it off so that we can temper our egg yolks. If you remember from the ice cream video, when I took off the hot heavy cream and tempered the, the egg yolks, we add a little bit of the hot mixture to the yolks so that we can bring it all up to the right temperature and we don't have scrambled eggs in our custard. See, we're, we're gonna add the hot liquid to the cold egg yolks and make this nice custard. Once that has incorporated, we're gonna take the egg yolks with the custard mix and put it back into the hot liquid and slowly bring it back up, slowly bring it to temperature to boil almost without boiling it because if you boil it, It'll break, the eggs will separate, you'll have scrambled eggs in it, and then you'll be eating chunks of custard instead of smooths of custard. Gotta keep stirring it or else it'll stick. Gotta taste it, make sure it's good. And then we're gonna strain our custard into our pumpkin. See that, see those bubbles? That's a good thing. See how there's no lumps in it? That's an even better thing. And whatever, whatever lumps are in it, we're gonna strain them out anyway. Nice even stream until the pumpkin is filled up. All the way to the top. We don't wanna chintz out on our guests. All right, once that's done, we're gonna, we're gonna put it back into a 350 degree oven in sort of a water bath. The water bath is gonna help the custard from breaking while it's baking and allow some steam. Now, while we have our creme brulee baking in the oven and our pumpkin, that's gonna take about 15 minutes, 18 minutes, let's say. We're gonna check back in on our soup. So, I take a little bit, I take, a, I take one of the bigger chunks of pumpkin and we're just gonna cut it, see how, see how far along the cooking process is. Once this is completely cooked, it should have the consistency of a mashed potato. Once that's completely cooked, we're gonna taste it. Make sure all of our seasoning is, is in place. And then I'm gonna add a touch of heavy cream. Once we bring that up to a boil again, we're gonna puree it with the, with the stick blender. So now that this has come to a boil, oh, it's about 15 minutes later. Let's see. Oh yeah, our custard is ready. See how it has a nice little jiggle to it? Sort of like J-E-L-L-O, -L -L but without the jello. Once that's done, we're gonna take it, transfer it to, transfer it to a bowl, and then we're gonna cool it in the refrigerator about an hour, two hours. Nobody likes hot creme brulee. Back to the soup. 
soup right now. The, the, night, the pumpkin pieces are nice and soft. All the flavors have come together. Now we come over here and we're gonna take the stick blender and just puree. While, while we're pureeing the soup, I took the insides of those seeds and I roasted them in the oven with my chili spice. I'm gonna take a little bit of those and put those in the soup as well. Get a little pumpkin, a little pumpkin facial while we're at it. All right, I think we're at our desired consistency. Now we're ready to present our pumpkin for our people. All right, we have our nice creamy soup. We're gonna pour it right back into the pumpkin. All the way to the top, no skimping out. And then we're gonna garnish our pumpkin with some more of our little toasted pumpkin seeds. And then I have taken uh, dried cherries with figs and dates and rehydrated them in the gingerbread rum that I used to make the pumpkin soup. And that we're gonna use as a garnish. Just something, a little jam, a little sweet and savory all together. That'll be a little surprise because it's sinking into to the bottom. And then don't forget the top. And there we have it. Oh, I have dessert as well. We're gonna have our already cold pumpkin creme brulee. Now, the most important thing about creme brulee after the custard, we're gonna dust, we're gonna dust our creme brulee. See how it's nice and firm? We're gonna dust our creme brulee with sugar. And then we're gonna, eat, we're gonna use our finger and evenly spread it around so that it tops off the whole entire pumpkin. After we've evenly spread the sugar on top of our pumpkin creme brulee, we're gonna light it up. Caramelizing the sugar, slowly. Don't want the sugar to burn, you just want the, you want the sugar caramelized, not burning. And this one, and this one from earlier, he's gonna get some too. Ha, ha, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Ha, ha, uh-oh. Fire. <laughs> Don't get crazy with the torch, all right? We're professionals here. Happy Halloween, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful and safe, happy Halloween. If you'd like to see some more of my antics, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And also on Facebook and Instagram, Flavor Kitchen CV.